What's going on everyone? Austin John plays here and today I'm going to be going over how you could get the gliding armor in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The gliding armor is one of three brand new sets of armor that was shown to us during the pre-release footage from Nintendo and in my opinion definitely one of the most useful and an absolute must for traversing the sky. You may have already gotten one of the pieces and you've already been like, oh wow, this is amazing. The set bonus for this is phenomenal because it makes it so you'd never get fall damage. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the locations of all three, the three shrines associated with them, how to complete the challenges and what's required for upgrading the armor. The first piece of the armor is going to be located at the North Hyrule Sky Archipelago at this island right here. It has the whole big circles on it and this diamond represents the shrine. This is located directly above the Great Hyrule Forest. So I'm going to be taking the Tiflo Ruin Skyview Tower. If we head to the south, you're going to be seeing this very large circular structure. That's where we need to go to. And I have great news. You do not have to go to the top of it. This is also the reason that I put out the video on doing the Rito quest line because having Tullin's air blast maneuver is going to be so useful for this. I got here with using just a little under two full rings of stamina. And once we get here, we just need to speak to this steward construct right here. This is what's called the diving ceremony, which is traditional of the Zonai people. Now there's going to be a trial run that's going to be not timed and when you go through it, you can just go at whatever pace you want. Activate the hand thing. That's then going to be showing you your starting ring. Hey, just a little pro tip. Do you see how high up you are right now? This is actually a great place to put down a travel medallion if you have one, in case you need to get to an island that's really far away or really high in the sky. Okay, bye. Oh, it was called Bravery Island. That was it. And when you go down, all you need to do is make sure you land inside of the circles. If you choose to hit the dive button, you can then hold R to dive faster. You can even hit just the edge. If you're not going to make it, don't be afraid to whip out the paraglider. It's perfectly fine. You will have time to spare. This first run is mostly just about feeling it out. And this is the easiest piece of the armor for you to get. Upon completing it for the first time, it's then going to be opening up a shrine for you. Be sure to go activate the shrine, as that will serve as a fast travel point. Now, you may have accidentally stopped there if you didn't continue on. By the way, there's some fairies here if you want to sneak over and go get them. But we're going to go ahead and speak to Stuart again. Now it's time for the real ceremony. However, every time that you do the ceremony, it's going to cost you a Zonai charge. So I recommend saving beforehand in case you fail and you don't have to keep wasting Zonai charges. Your only requirement here is get to the bottom within 35 seconds. So as long as you're comfortable with skydiving, don't be afraid to get the power glider because it's more important to hit the rings than get to the bottom quickly. And I finished with a time of 23 and a half seconds. And with that, we get the glide tights, which is skydive mobility up. Oh, and because we were one of the faster people, we got a large Zonai charge. Typically, you have to do it a second time in order to get the Zonai charge, unless your first time was literally that fast. And I don't actually know what happens after you get the large Zonai charge. Do you get another one? Is this a way to convert Zonai charges to large Zonai charges? When attempting this the second time, definitely recommend putting on your glider armor as it dramatically increases your sky mobility. I was able to achieve it in under 20 seconds because of that additional maneuver ability. Oh, yeah, large zone I charge. Well, that's neat. Maybe that's because I broke the record that I made for myself. Maybe not. I don't know. The second piece of the skydiving armor that we're going to be going to is going to be located here at the South Laneru Sky Archipelago, located at the right side of the map. From the Mount Laneru Skyview Tower, I'm going to launch that up into the air. We're going to be heading northeast from the tower. It's actually not that far of a trip. If you have Tullin unlocked, you should be able to get there no problem. Our destination is actually that down there, so we don't need to go high up. And now that you have Tullin 
and one piece of the sky dive armor, you can actually do this little fun method of getting around, which is shoot forward, and then you're gonna glide down for the duration of Tullin waiting to recharge. Doing that is going to preserve a little bit of stamina, and the more pieces of skydive armor that you have, the more you're going to be able to maneuver going forward instead of just falling straight down. When you're here, be sure to deposit inside of the dispensers, that way you get your items coming out. And I always recommend, as soon as it dispenses, check your map to make sure that all of them are going to be registered. If you still have question marks, drop five more in there. By the way, you can drop large charges into these, which is then going to severely increase how many that come out. Like if you drop five large, I think you get 60 capsules. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and speak to Stuart over here. This is Valor Island. And upon making our way down, this is actually the first one that I did. And I think this is like the medium difficulty. I'm pretty sure I'm going in the proper order and I missed a ring. It's over here. Okay. Oh, and that was the ground. That cloud tricked me. That can happen. Let's go ahead and try that again. This first time, there's no time limit for us, so let's just get used to the course. I like to follow where the little beam of light is going to let me know where I need to skydive to next. And upon completing, it's going to be activating a shrine for us. Let's go ahead and touch that shrine. We're going to put down a hard save in front of Stuart, and let's start the ceremony, which does require one zone eye charge. You have to complete the course within 35 seconds, which I'm pretty sure you could do without ever accelerating. So as soon as you go through a ring, you want to line yourself up. Because you never know when them sneaky cliffs are going to show up. Twenty six seconds. Not bad. That's going to get us the glide mask. Now we have level two of skydive mobility up. Once you have level two, you're going to start to feel a huge difference when skydiving. And we finished with a time under 25 seconds at 23.5. For our third piece of armor, we're going to be making our way to this island over here that for some reason reminds me of a skull, which I d don't have the name of it unlocked. I think it's technically the West Haber Sky Archipelago. But anyways, it's just right next to the Linder's Brow Skyview Tower. This may have been the first one that you got. From here, we just need to make our way casually southwest. And honestly, you don't even need your power glider at all if you already have level two of the skydive armor. Yeah, this was probably designed as like the first one that you should go to. My first time I was here, I was desperately trying to climb to the top, not knowing that I could just, you know, come here to the bottom and that fast travels you to the top. Let's make sure to go get our gumball machine. I don't know if you noticed this, but anytime that you are on this platform and you open up your inventory screen, it will automatically highlight your zone I charge. And I think that's just such a nice little quality of life that they did. Let's go ahead and speak to Stuart. This is Courage Island. Get it? The three virtues instilled in the three parts of the Triforce. Oh, I did not expect that one to be over there. Yeah, this is definitely the medium course, and I just did the hard course with how many clouds there were. And that's going to spawn in a shrine for us. Be sure to go touch your shrine. Just like the previous two, you have to complete this one within 35 seconds. I don't remember so many clouds last time, but okay. Oh, that was a close call. Thirty-five seconds, but we nailed it in eighteen point two eight, and I almost hit a duck. And that's going to be the glide shirt, the third and final piece of the set. Now, in order to upgrade the glide armor, you're going to need key swings and Aracuda eyes. You're going to need three key swings for level one of all the things, and five key swings for level two. So that's twenty-four key swings. And you're going to need six Aracuda eyes per piece, so a total of 18 Aracuda eyes. Aracudas can randomly spawn in the sky, but I know that they're going to be around this area, so I'm just going to spawn in 
at Kernal Hills. That's where we got our barbarian armor early. And over here, I'm just gonna hunt them down. Getting to the top of this log, I can spot three already by this monster encampment. They only have one HP, so while you're in the air, just take out your weakest bow. Also, if you've been following along and you have the compendium, you can take a picture of an Aracuda and then you could track where they are. Oh, here it is. Oh, they are very large eyes. If you make your way to Crenal Peak or Crenal Peak, I think it might be Crenal. If you make your way to Crenal Peak as well, there should be some Aracuda around here. Your Sheikah sensor will let you know where they are specifically. Here we go. Luckily, my sensor is letting me know that there's one nearby in this direction. By the way, when there's monster music going on, sometimes you can't hear your sensor, although it will still glow in the corner. Oh, this one's holding, what is he holding? Is that a chest? Let's see if a Keese eyeball can track him down. Yep, sure can. There are also reported sightings of Aracudas over here next to Lake Colomo, down here by the East Point Ruins by the Temple of Time on the Great Plateau, and south of the Colosseum. All in Central Hyrule. Hey, boo. So level one is just gonna require three key swings. There's the bottoms, here's the mid, and the mask. Level two requiring the six eyeballs and the five key swings. Much like the climbing armor, I see this as more of a utility armor, so I'm not planning on upgrading this to level four. I mean, you know, once I'm ready for like 100% completion stuff, Sure, you're gonna need some Aracuda wings and eyeballs for level three. And then once you get to level four, you need Gibdo wings, which are readily available as long as you're farming Gibdos during the Gerudo quest line, like I'm gonna recommend later on. More Aracuda wings and then Gleok wings, which they typically drop a lot all at once, but you're gonna need 12 wings per piece. So that's 36 wings in total. So once you're going for like, I don't know if there's a Medal of Honor or what the equivalent is, but yeah, that. Also, set bonus is impact proof, which means that you will never ever get fall damage, which is so amazing. Just no damage. No damage at all. Do I really need to explain what, why that's so great? While you're skydiving, if you just wanna land on something with knowing that you're not gonna like die from impact, So now I'm gonna run a series of tests to calculate exactly how much mobility we have with level three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna face in one direction and I'm just going to hold straight while gliding down like this. I took a note of my starting location and we're gonna take a note of our ending location. Then we're going to calculate the difference between those two points. And there we go. That's our last bit of testing. And doing this testing, I got some very, very clear numbers. So if you have one piece of skydive armor on, you're going to be able to go 50% further. If you have two pieces on, you're going to be able to go 100% further or doubling your distance. And then with three pieces on, you're going to go 250%. This is how far I went with no armor. And then it's going to be 50% further with one piece, another 50% further with two pieces, and a third 50% with three pieces. The amount of distance that you're going to be cover is completely perfectly multiplicative so if you have Tullin's sky dash ability mixed with the skydiving armor with three pieces of armor on you're going to be going one and a half times more than your original distance would have been Using this exact method, I've been able to cross very large distances. Including this method, I was able to go from like the top right labyrinth over to this sky island over here, which is quite a distance away. And then I've also been able to achieve distances like coming from this sky island to this labyrinth, some very, very far ones. Using this, you're gonna be able to cover a lot of distance and really get some great mobility while in the sky. And then also, going from the sky to the surface. Because anytime that you're doing this skydiving, you're not actually consuming stamina. So 10 out of 10, recommend getting this as soon as possible. Well, great. Guys, if you found this information helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.